Well, hello there, sports fan. Welcome to this week's edition of Red Ray's Welding and Machining. Gonna be down here in the shop today doing a little uh, adjusting on a milling machine. We're gonna set it and get it back to where it's cutting square both directions and uh, get our vise on there and get all that lined up so the next time we got a job to do that we ain't got to worry about it, we know it's gonna be cutting flat and square. So uh, hang around and let's see how we done that. And if, remember now, if you like this, Hit that like and subscribe and share and comment. I don't care. Welcome to all comments. So let's see what we're gonna do on this edition. All right, this is something I do every time I put my vise on, put it back on or anything. I always what they call trim in my, my head. So to do that, Put a magnet under there. I'm going to bring that to zero. Lock it in. Now I'm going to spin it around to this one. And I'll set it to zero. Now they're both exactly the same. Off the same point. They're both set at zero. Now then, let's raise this up. Try to get this set where I don't heat it. Now I run that in there to zero and that shows that that thing is, what is that, one, two, four thousand, a little over four thousand off. So all right, give me a second, I'm gonna loosen up the head and we'll get everything where we can adjust it. All right, I got the head adjusted now, or loose. So let's adjust it. where both numbers are the same. All right, y'all gonna have to give me a minute because I gotta get some glasses on. That is a little over a thousand. And that one is too. So, now, the trick is keeping them that way. I always snug them just a little bit at a time. i tell you what, watch this. Probably won't do it this time, but. When you just tighten them up. Now what are they? See that one's a little under a thousand. And that note's about a thousand. That one dead on a thousand. And that one's a little under a thousand. So when you when you just haul off and go to tightening them up. It will make that head move just a little bit. See it move when it relaxes.
me snug these down a little bit and then it won't move quite so much when we tighten them up. Gonna get them all a little smooth. All right, where are we? Both of those are nanny nan. Both still nanny nan. Still nanny nan. Alright, we got it that way. Both of them still at nanny nan and she's tight. Now I'm gonna flip it around, we're gonna check it the other way. All right, you see we're off a little bit that way. So, we gotta loosen up our head here. And then we're gonna snug him back up just a little bit. Same process, we're gonna put them, put it back on where they both fit the same number. Got to go the other way. I tell you, both of them just a hair over 10. I'd see it move when I tighten it up. I'm at 11 and just a hair under 10. So she moves when I tighten it on up.
There they are, both back to that number. Ten and just a fraction off. That one went too much. All right, both of them dead on the level. I got that one right there pretty tight, so maybe she won't move this time. Yep, there we go. All righty. Well, all right, we got her trimmed in. Uh, got her set back square. We're gonna get her vise set on the table now and get it squared up to it. And then our uh, our milling machine will be tuned up, be ready to do some work. All right, that's a little off center, but I gotta be able to get to these handles and stuff. All right, we got her set on zero. We're gonna run her all the way down here and see what she see. See how far off she is. All right. She is short about 26,000. So, I really need to zero this side because I'm moving the other side. Move at ten. And re zero it. Let's run her down and see what she says. I see that was way too far. Let me take a little, little less slack out here and tighten some of this up. I may have it a little too loose. Oh, we got her on 10. All righty. We're at about 11 now, so. See, I need to go this way with it. All right, that's at 92. That is at 91. So, we are a thousandths off. All right, that's about 91 and a half. y'all squared up with it and that's 91 and a half so i do believe we put it doggone close well all right there people that's the way you do it or that's the way i do it anyway so uh, uh i'm pretty confident that whatever i do on this mill now for the next few jobs will be uh unless i crash it or bump it or you know something else but uh she's gonna give me some pretty accurate cuts and uh everything will be about like she needs to be so 
Let's see if we can do something else now. Well, hello there, sports fans. It's that nine head shop. They've been cleaning up a little bit, raining, kind of peaceful sitting here at the back listening to the rain and the thunder. Got reading on my favorite, favorite book. Uh, I just happened to be going through uh, Timothy. Uh, Paul wrote Timothy two letters. This is the second one. Second Timothy, verse uh, chapter three, verse one through seven. This also know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sin led away with divers lust, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Does that sound like today? Uh, I'm not going to sit here and go to telling you, oh, this is the end time. God's the only one that knows that, that knows when that's going to be. But I will say this. They stuff in here. Just like that right there. If that don't, if that ain't today, I I don't know what to say. Uh, to me, it is. I see a lot of that. Uh, it doesn't got to the point where the kids tell the parents what to do and and all of that. And you got to they want to leave it up to you know a kid, a child, to determine what they want when that child does not have the knowledge yet or the wisdom to know what they want or to know the repercussions of doing it this way. That's where we as parents step in and guide them because we know where it could lead and where it goes. So, but anyway, it's going to be kind of short, but that's, that's it right there. Uh, Paul tells Timothy that there'll come a time I'm not going to say that time's here, but I'm saying a lot of what he says is going on at this time. And with things going on the way they are, you know, I'm not here to try to spook anybody. I don't want you to be spooked into uh, God, but if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. I want you to understand that this is the truth. There's truth in that. That's, you can't, there ain't no other way to say it. There's proven and proven and proven that this Bible is real, that God is real, and Jesus Christ was born of a virgin, lived a sinless life, died on the cross for man and your sin, and now sits at the right hand of God. I hope y'all listen to this I hope you read it I don't know I just I, it's in my heart I want you to read it I want you to understand it I do want you to believe this I don't want to see anybody go to hell and that's where that's where it's headed anyway y'all be careful stay safe go to church on Sunday see you next time